Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notification instantly. Hey everyone, this is Mukesh once again and this is part 2 of exception handling. So in the last session we have seen how to work with try catch which is part of runtime exception. So in this video we'll talk about how to handle the compile time exceptions using throws and try catch again. So what exactly this throws keyword is, throws keyword is a reserved keyword in Java which is generally used to throw the exception from one particular step or I will say through one piece of code. Okay. So generally what exactly this throws keyword is, it gives an information to the programmer that uh, while working on this particular class or method, you might get this exception. Okay, so user can or I will say programmer can handle this exception gracefully. So who use this throws keyword? Okay, so either you can create your own method and you can use throws and uh, whenever any method is throwing some exception, okay, using throws keyword, then you can handle using try catch or also you can also throw from your particular program. Okay. So you might get confused in this. So let me show you through an example. So I hope you are fine with this example. Now let me create very basic example. I will remove this piece of code. So right now I have nothing. Now, as I said, this throws keyword, okay, we use to throw exception and sometimes we give a specific information about that method that this method might throw some exception so hand, uh, handle them accordingly very basic example if you use thread thread is a class in java okay which is used for threading here we have one method called sleep okay so this will stop the execution for particular period Okay, so it accepts the time in milliseconds. So if I give 5000, sorry, yeah, 5000, it will stop my execution for 5 seconds. Now you can see I have not done any mistake, but still I'm getting in this error because the sleep method is throwing one interrupted exception. So you can see before running my program itself, I'm getting exception. This comes under compile time exception. Okay, now if you see the sleep method in java doc so let me show you that sleep method okay so let me search sleep yeah so when you search uh, when you click on this there's some sleep methods and let's see the first one you can see this is sleep method which is given by Java which will halt the execution for that particular time but they have used one keyword called throws interrupted exception okay so they are already throwing one exception okay officially it, because uh, while working with threads it is uh, I will say like chances are very high some high priority thread will interrupt your code or the sleep period so you might get interrupted exception and they have given very beautiful description what exactly this sleep will do and why we get this interrupted exception. So they have already mentioned whenever you use sleep method it will always throw some exception which is interrupted exception so you need to handle them. Okay so right now if I put mouse over it will give you two options that you can use try catch or use throws. Try catch we have seen but if I say throws then we need to use this throws keyword again and what exception it is throwing we need to throw it throw is not a recommended way because throwing is just you are skipping from this particular point okay or this particular statement now when you throw this exception who will handle this exception because you are also throwing then jvm will handle if jvm is not able to handle then it will terminate your program so if you are very sure that uh, this exception will never come, you can use throws, but recommended ways using try catch. 
you can see I just use throws so it will not give any exception now and I can continue with my code so let me write start and end and you will see first it will print start and after five seconds it will say end okay we have used throws and it is throwing exception and um, we also use throws keyword so now if you ask me who exactly this uh, handle this exception generally we should handle this exception but if you keep throwing and if something went wrong then jvm have to handle and jvm do not have try catch so it will terminate a complete program this is just one example i can give multiple examples if you use file input stream fis equal to new file input stream and i will give some file okay you can also see it this will also throw me exception and it will throw you file not found exception if you want to see why it is throwing again go back just search for file input stream in java doc and uh, yeah okay they have yeah file input stream so it means whenever you use file input stream it will throw file not found exception and why they have given because chances are very high when you use files you might give the wrong path right so in that case it will say hey i am not able to find the ex uh, your file so java has already given so many exceptions okay so when you start working them it will keep throwing so many exceptions so i would recommend you strike it but in case if you want to skip you can use throws so when you click on throws it will throw from this particular step okay so whenever you feel like i'm completely sure this will not throw any exception in a runtime you can go with throws but safer side you can use try catch so now if you put mouse over it says sleep method will throw interrupted exception and this is also file input stream which throws file not found exception so now you can see we are throwing two exception now let me create one more okay so there's one robot class in java so if i create object of robot class as well again i will get one more exception because java guys again mentioned when you're working with robot make sure you are handling awt exception awt exception is abstract window toolkit exception okay so when you're working with applet swings this awt exception will come so java guys guys already written like handle this exception gracefully now if you don't handle you can use throws again if you say throws it will keep adding number of exception so you can also ask me can we give one base exception yes you can give so if you are not sure which exception might come you can give finally base exception this will handle everything you don't have to give individual exception one by one okay and if you don't use throws at all final thing handle try catch this is one try catch this is another try catch and this will also try catch so hope you are able to understand the exception handling how it is important and why we have to use this now this is how we use in java but while working with selenium which kind of exception we will get how to handle them so handling way will remain same we have to use try case definitely but uh, which kind of exception you will get so if you go to my channel i have uploaded a couple of videos like how to handle this element not clickable exception how to handle stale element reference exception and uh, again one new exception like so handling way will remain same but i will show you one more exception called no such element exception and null pointer exception so next video i will show you how you can handle null pointer and no such element exception okay uh, that's all i have for this video so thank you so much if you like this video then hit the subscribe button and uh, share with your friends 
we'll see in the next video and before going final note ideal way to handle the exception track is do not use throws if you are very sure like this will not throw any exception in runtime like thread dot sleep never throws in my case at least I, in that case i can go with uh, throws but for other exceptions go with try catch okay that's all i have thank you so much have a nice day bye bye